Hi there, Toy here. I know it's been a while. Let's see what I've got. So, um, if it seems like I've been neglecting this channel, I apologize. I did post a video recently for uh, Juneteenth, but I haven't really been keeping up with the content here. I have actually been keeping up with content on my other channel, Carney the Bookworm, and so if you're interested in following my book reviews, that's where I post those, and I'm going to be starting some new content on that channel. So, uh, But this is usually where I do like my updates on my reading challenge, I do like hauls and stuff like that, and I haven't done any of that in a while, so that's what I'm doing today. There's it's been so long since I've done one of these that there's so much stuff that I could share, but I'm going to try to not make this a long video. So I've just kind of picked out some random things that I've acquired since the last time I did a video like this, and let's just see what I got. So the first thing I want to share, you know, it's, um, we're, we're in the age of COVID-19 right now, and, um, so <laughs> I have some masks I want to show you. I'm a huge Capital fan, so this is one that I ordered online and I, I don't like wearing it but I have two that I made and believe it or not these are two of my favorite ones they don't look real professional and all that kind of stuff I don't make them for other people but it was it was something that I hadn't done in a while I hadn't pulled out my sewing machine and made anything in so long and I used to sew all the time so I just want to show you my cute little mask that I made And yes, those are doggy prints, if you didn't notice that. Then here's another one. And those are dogs as well. So I thought that was something just, you know, fun to share that before I was able to order <laughs> real, like, legit face masks, I made my own. And I just wanted to share that with you. Some other things that I've made, <laughs> um, I was inspired you know, by this whole COVID-19 thing. So if you um, aren't following me on my blog or any other social media, you may not know this. You might, but I want to go ahead and share it with you now. I wrote a book about, um, you know, dealing with the quarantine, and it's called Joe and Chip in Quarantine. And these are two characters from my children's other children's books. And it just goes through and shows how the boys are um, dealing with the quarantine. I don't know, some of you may or may not know that I now do like um, t-shirt designs, bookish t-shirt designs. I'm trying to raise money to start my own book fair, which is very slow going. But <laughs> for my new book, I created a t-shirt for it. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, you can't see it that well. Sorry, I'll post a picture. But it says Joe and Chip in Quarantine, which is the name of the book. And then at the bottom it says hashtag stay home stay safe i'm also wearing another shirt that i made i probably can't see it either <laughs> i didn't plan that out very well again i'll post a picture and this one features um carney the bookworm and this one says have an adventure every day and at the bottom the hashtag is stay home and read so those are some things that i've done there's one more thing that i created during this time the black live Black Lives Matter movement isn't new, but it has uh, resurged in a very positive way. I think it's, you know, tried to make movements in the past and people have kind of ignored it, dismissed it. And it's just gotten to the point where people aren't um, accepting that anymore. And other people are beginning to realize, like, hey, maybe we really should look at this. So it's really becoming something positive. So I wrote a book, again, a children's book. That's what I do. <laughs> um to address some of the um, Black Lives Matter movement and it's called and I don't have the print copy with me yet. It's printing has been delayed but this one is called Why Are You Afraid and it features Joe again my character and his cousin so and I made t-shirts for this too because that's the thing that I do now and I'll post pictures of those because again those haven't arrived yet either <laughs> so those are some of the things that I've been creating since the last time um, I made a video like this and since I've got some stuff to show you I thought I'd include it in this video now so um, again if you're kind of new or if it's been a while and you don't remember I don't really shop <laughs> so I have like I said it, I've gotten some things since the last time I you know done one of these but I'm not gonna go into like clothing and stuff like that um, most of it is very minimal anyway 
you don't care about that stuff. If you did see my Juneteenth video, you didn't see the whole outfit I was wearing. Most of my videos are just from here up, but the little dress that I was wearing in that video was something that I acquired recently. Again, my husband is amazing. He buys all that stuff for me because I don't shop. Um, what I do buy for myself is books. <laughs> and we both buy ourselves records and action figures. And I do actually have some new action figures, but I already put them like up on the shelf yet. Like I haven't opened them and interacted with them yet. So I just didn't feel like doing that today. So shame on me. Maybe I'll take pictures and put them on here. If you don't see the pictures, that means I didn't do it. <laughs> okay, but let's talk about some of the, uh, the books that I got. I don't, I feel like I showed this already, but I couldn't remember. So I'm just going to show it now. It's a book that I've been holding off because I'm just not in an emotional state to read it. Um, if you know, I've been reading the March series. I've read the first two books in the series, holding on to the third one, not in an emotional mindset to read that right now um so definitely not an emotional mindset to read this either this is a cop um famous graphic novel series and it is a uh, depiction of the holocaust told from a point of view of mice but the mice are people um so either e either way i need to finish the march series i need to get into mouse i just need to be in a better mindset to do that right now um, with that said, I'm not like avoiding hard topics or anything like that. I've been reading some, like seriously, go to my Corning the Bookworm channel and read the reviews of some of the books I've been reading. So I'm not shying away from hard content. It's just that I get to pick and choose what I'm going to read because I'm an adult. <laughs> with that said, I want to show you something fun that I've gotten. You know, I love ebooks. Um, I, I love all books. I'm going to tell you that right now. The only reason why I don't personally buy more print books is because of two things, cost and space. I don't have a lot of space in my tiny home and I have to budget. <laughs> um, I, I wholeheartedly believe in supporting authors, but when you are on a budget, sometimes that money has to go towards digital content more than print content because I would rather consume that artist's work in any form that I can get it while supporting them as opposed to putting it off, putting it off, and they never get those royalties. So for all you people out there who hate ebooks, that's all that's that's fine for you. You do you, but I'm gonna do me. Um, I do buy print books, I buy audio books, I you know I like comic books. So with that said, I'm really excited about this book that I cannot believe took me so long to discover. I literally started reading it, um, I think I started reading it yesterday. I'm already like a quarter of the way through. If you're at all familiar with Rick Riordan and the Percy Jackson series and all that kind of stuff, that, I read the first book in that series and it was not bad at all. They, he, he did another um, like Young Olympians, but I like that one a lot better. But the point is, is I kind of feel like I'm just over Greek gods and myths. There's another author that I follow. He loves writing about Greek gods and mythology. And don't get me wrong, I like those things, but I've, I've heard them all. So when I found out about this book, people, I know you probably can't see it that we're all posted pictures, it's called Tristan Strong. And it's basically the same concept of um, introducing these old gods into a modern setting. But these are not Greek gods. These are all African American or Af West African um, folk folk folklore and legends and gods and things like that. Oh my goodness. This is this is a middle grade book, but I, I'm absolutely in love with this book. I, I Like I said, I'm only a fourth of the way through, but I already love it. I mean... I'm going to get the whole series. I already know that. So anyway, if you don't know about Tristan Strong, check it out, people. Um, <laughs> so that that's one of many things that I'm reading right now. It's very excited about. And uh, so let me show you some other cool stuff I've gotten. <laughs> this is Bombshells. I think this is number one. So, um, I love the vintage look of it. You know, these are superhero or female DC characters depicted in kind of like that 1930s, 1940s pinup bombshell kind of thing. I have no, I, not, I know it, absolutely nothing about the story. I just know that I've seen these around forever. And, you know, for the first time I went out with my, like, 
during this whole COVID-19 week, sorry I'm rambling, I've literally only been going to work and home. That's it. I haven't gone to the grocery store. I haven't gone to the pharmacy. I have not been socializing, just going to work and coming home. And um, so I've been working this whole time. Um, I know a lot of people have been out of work, and I know that's tough. Um, even with me working, I haven't been getting the same hours. And so, you know, we're all in the struggle together. But the point is, is that when I tell people that I've been working this whole time, they assume that I've been out and about. I've not. I've been very isolated, which for someone who's kind of introverted, I'm a writer. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Like, it's not that big a deal. But um, I went to the comic book store for the first time the week weekend of Juneteenth because I, um, you know, me and my family made the decision to get together and celebrate. We've always celebrated it. I mean, this year was like a big, huge thing all over the world, but, um, we've always done it. So, but we didn't want to miss out on that this year because of COVID. And so, you know, we all took our precautions and like that, but I figured if I was going to go out and do that. It was my husband's birthday, and we both love comic books, so we went to our local comic book store, and they were, they had sign out, they only allowed so many people in at a time, like, it was a really just wonderful experience, so I said, I'm just going to pick this up, why not? Something else that we got, I didn't actually see this that day, my husband, it was his birthday, y'all, but he went back and got something for me later, because that's just how he is, y'all, so he got me a gem in the holograms. Because I was talking about how I want them to do like a legit reboot. Whatever that thing was they released a couple of years ago was garbage. I didn't even watch it. I refused to. And everybody I know who saw it said it was garbage. No, nothing against those people who put their hard work and time in. Maybe, you know, there's someone out there who likes that. But whatever that is wasn't jamming the holograms. And so because we had that random conversation, I got this. Now, let's, uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. So another thing that I have been actively doing I mean in, in some part in some small way this has always been a part of my life and it's been a part of most black people's lives is where we you know um, support local black owned businesses and stuff like that like um, especially black women because of our hair care and skin care and stuff like that we as a culture have kind of always had to go to like small businesses or whatever to get you know those services and things like that my person who does my hair doesn't work in a um, commercial like salon she has her own personal salon so anyway my point is is that I've decided to reach out more and support more black businesses and stuff like that and so I you know joined some groups and again connected with it. and it's been a wonderful experience because um, you know people are gonna take a different mentality about that um, just you know black businesses only or or um, businesses by people of color only or you know whatever I'm spreading the love as much as I can if, if I can support a black business I will anyway with that I've also been reading a lot more um, black authors which that's always been something that I've been striving to do um, the crazy thing about it is is I have used an excuse that a lot of other people have used for a long time is is the fact that they're not always easy to find and I'm not using that excuse anymore I'm looking for them now granted I started looking for them right before all of this happened and everybody is like telling you go read this author that so like it's right now it's really easy to find black authors but anyway um I discovered a guy who does his own independent um, children's books. He has a character that he created a superhero. He's, he's a dad who's a superhero called Mr. Powers. I just got these in the mail. I haven't read them, so that means I haven't reviewed them or anything. But there's two books in the series, and I'm really excited about it. I need to make sure I go online and let him know that I got my books and everything. But I'm sharing it with you guys right now. I got a little sticker. I got a pencil, some coloring pages. So, and this was not expensive. I think also, I think people sometimes worry about supporting businesses that aren't, you know, big, huge commercial entities and it's going to be expensive or shady or stop making excuses. Just if you want to support someone, support someone. You can support me if you want. Anyway, <laughs> and now on to the last things that I want to share is the vinyl. Um, we buy vinyl all the time like we're never not buying vinyl it might be a problem but so I'm just saying that because what I'm going to share with you is some of the things we've gotten 
recently. Okay, so sorry uh, about that. Had some technical issues with my dog coming into the house. So, well, you know, hopefully this will be a smooth edit and transition back to me trying to show you some vinyl. <laughs> And again, these are just some things I wanted to highlight. No, you know, we're always fine, but so we got this record, which is the best of the Drifters. And um, trying to think, there's so many good songs on it. Which is the most? Um, Save the Last Dance for me. That's a good one that a lot of people know right off the top of their heads. Under the Boardwalk. Anyway, uh, we realized that for some ridiculous reason, we didn't actually have. A drifters record we have lots of drifter songs on like compilation so we just picked that up um uh, this one is a really fun one um, my husband goes to concerts a lot i do not because you know introvert anxiety all that jazz <laughs> but um he's always sharing his experiences with me we go on to youtube and look these people up a lot of times when he goes to like indie shows we'll get their music and download it or whatever but vinyl is some is sometimes harder even though so many people are doing vinyl now it's just whether or not you get it during a print run. <laughs> so we got this one during its last press run. And this is the Doped Up Dollies. They're pretty fun. So we got the record. We got the vinyl and the download. So yay. Now this next one. Hmm, my nose is itchy. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit this out. So the next one is the one I'm really excited about. And once you see it, you might be like, why are you so excited about that? But I'll explain it. So we all know what a great musical genius Prince is, was, whatever. I don't know what the appropriate respectful terminology is there. He's passed, but his music lives on. So um, we have lots of his records and things like that. But something that his estate recently released was all of the songs that he wrote for other people he recorded demos for those people, sent them to them as kind of suggestions and guides for how they should record the song. And most of them recorded them just the way he wanted them to. It's amazing. So anyway, this is Prince singing all those iconic songs that we know that other people sang but were written by him. And it's just, it blows my mind. It's crazy. What I think is most amazing is the picture that they put on the cover. Are you ready? Here it is. I love it. I love this picture. Hopefully the glare wasn't too bad. But inside is even better. These are the bands, the group, the album covers of the different songs by the people who recorded them. He wrote them, but they recorded them. And oh my goodness, there is so much in here. It's a two disc record. I mean, this, this, this is, yeah, I had to share that with you guys. So these are some of the things that I've gotten recently. I'm going to have to do a lot of editing on this video because it's been so long. I tried not to make it too long. But yeah, I just felt like I needed to share something with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you'll check out some of the stuff that I put out. Um, check out my Carney Loves Books channel. Uh, no, sorry, Carney the Bookworm channel. It's Carney the Bookworm. Oh, whatever. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Hopefully, I'll be updating you soon with my reading challenge. And that's all I have for now. Bye.